Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Kate. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today is all about my 2021 goals and New Year's resolutions. Happy 2021. I'm not even gonna talk about 2020. Like, let's just, it's over, okay? It's over. She's done, she's gone, she's in the trash. Let's move on. My first goal I wrote down is drink your water and mind your business. I just posted a photo on my Instagram that says that. I just love this quote. It's so short, yet it speaks volumes and it's so important because i feel like the whole drink your water part obviously being hydrated is very important and the mind your business part is just like stop caring about what other people are doing what other people think of you like seriously just focus on yourself and what you're doing i feel like with all of these social medias instagram and tiktok i feel like are the number two social media platforms that people get so caught up on when you're just like watching others all day long on social media like TikTok and Instagram, you get so caught up in it and you just like lose track on what you're doing. All of that time that you're spent focusing on other people, you could just be focusing and putting into yourself. There's times when I get caught up in it and I just focus on the wrong things and things that don't pertain to me and don't improve or benefit my life whatsoever. Just focus on yourself, mind your business, who cares what Becky's doing, who cares what Terry's doing. Get yourself a nice water bottle, put some water in that shit and drink it, okay? Drink your water, mind your business. Number two that I have on my list is strength training and working for your best body. When I say this, I don't mean like get in the best shape of your life this year, just working towards a stronger and more healthier body. And I just think strength training is very important. I always used to do just cardio workouts and like these quick little ab workouts that I would find on YouTube. Really doing your research and like learning about working out and strength training and everything really improves your mindset about your body, what your body can do. I've never had a problem with my weight, but I do want to be stronger. I want to get in better shape and basically just tone my body. What has been helping me is the Peloton app. I've been using it for a couple months now. I love it so much. There's so many classes you can take, so many instructors. It's just awesome. I'm doing this challenge right now for the month of January where you work out every single day for the month of January and I think that's a really good way to start getting in the habit of working out. But also I think it's important for working out goals make them small and don't make them too big because the bigger they are the harder they are you're less likely to do them so just work your way up start with doing like a workout once a week or work out twice a week just you know, work your way up the ladder. Number three on my list is keep learning and I wrote in parentheses books. I've been into reading for quite some time now, especially because I'm not in school. I think that they are a great way to just always be learning. Just learning about life in general, I think books are just amazing and I was never the type of person to sit down and read a book like ever. You would never catch me sitting down and reading a book for pleasure. Like that was just non-existent in my life. So whatever book that I'm reading, I usually just keep it by my nightstand. I like to read before I go to bed and sometimes when I wake up. So this is the book that I'm reading now. It's called How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. I really enjoy this book so if you're looking for a good book, highly recommend it. My goal is to read at least five books this year. I have a ton of books in my closet that I haven't read yet so I will be good to go. And it's honestly so relaxing to just like sit in my bed and read a book. Number four that I wrote down is take frequent breaks from social media. And I don't mean like an hour break a day from social media. I mean like days. Social media can be so bad for you, especially TikTok and Instagram. You need to realize that everything people put out on the internet is only what they want you to see. They're not going to post themselves having a mental breakdown. All you see on social media is the highlights of people's lives. We need to understand that as human beings is that not everything is perfect. Like no one is perfect. No one has the most perfect life. I feel so good when I wake up in the morning and I don't check my phone. I just do my morning routine. I have my breakfast. I drink my water. I read some books. I write down my schedule. I feel so good and I feel like the second I go on social media, like I just feel down. Like I seriously, it's like a switch in my brain and that's just not good. And especially TikTok. Oh my God, it's so hard not to just keep scrolling it's so funny like I love TikTok but I also feel like there's a bad side of TikTok where it's literally just girls and boys just 
showing off their looks, showing off what they have and all of this stuff. It's honestly sickening to me. Take a break from social media. It'll save you. Breaks from social media 2021. Let's go. This also brings me into my next one, number five, which is stop comparing yourself in your journey to others. Sometimes I find myself just, I always compare myself in other people's journeys. So for an example, like if someone has a YouTube channel, for instance, I get down on myself because I'm like, why is my channel not growing like I want it to? And it makes me really sad and I just get down on myself. But then I remember everybody's journey is different. Like I'm not gonna have the same journey as somebody else. Like. It doesn't matter because I know what I'm doing. I know that I'm working towards my goals. I know that I'm putting in effort and that's all that matters. I am my own person. I am Kate. This is my YouTube channel. It's not theirs. So it's gonna be different and that's okay because I'm putting in the effort, I'm putting in work and I'm gonna get there. Who knows when, but who cares? Wipe it out of your brain, focus on yourself. You'll get there. Number six and my last thing on this list is don't worry about things out of your control. This one is a huge one for me because I struggle with anxiety and I'm just anxious a lot of the time. Half the time it's literally about things that I can't control and I have no power over. So I need to realize that if I cannot control it, why am I worrying about it? Because nothing can be done about it and saying that out loud, it's like, wow, that sounds so harsh, but it's true. You could be putting your your time and your effort and your mindset into so many other things than worrying about something that you literally cannot do anything about. Leave it alone. Seriously, work on yourself. And I cannot stress this enough. Like, work on yourself. Make this the year where you just completely dedicate your time and your effort to you because it's so important. You'll thank yourself at the end of the year and it'll feel so freaking good to see all of the accomplishments that you've made throughout this year and it feels so good like when the new year starts it's fresh and it's like keep that mindset that you have january 1st throughout the whole entire year that is my entire list i have so many more goals that i actually wrote on a different piece of paper but these are like the general ones that i wanted to pull from that list and share them with you guys i hope this inspires you make a list write it down and at the end of the year you will seriously think yourself feel so much better about yourself and you will just feel genuinely happy make 2021 your bitch okay okay <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it give it a like subscribe to my channel and i will see you next time bye